Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World, the game. That's right, it's not been a month since the next one because... Actually, well, I, I guess we could have made it today, actually, because the Dilophosaur Gen 2 tournament is closing today, and we are... Well, what, what am I on? I'm on Hunter League, so... Hey, <laughs> but I have been doing it. So don't worry, we will get the Lava Sword Gen 2, but you've seen the title of this video, you've seen the thumbnail, and it is not clickbait. I went into my news today, and never tell me anything, Lydia, but today, <laughs> but I just looked in, and it said, unfortunately I opened it last night actually, uh, but they gave me the uh, VIP pass for the, whatchamacallit, the... Um, the T-Rex, the Rexy uh, VIP thing. So I flung straight past, I got Rexy, we got 2,500 um, VIP things or, well, we didn't even call it VIP. Uh, anniversary return, I don't even know what the points are called. Anyway, we got loads of this. So we shot all the way through. So this means that not only do we have one Rexy ready to go, but if I complete the entire thing we're gonna go through this thing. <laughs> I don't know what that was. The entire thing. Uh, we got two, three, um, four. We can get four Rexies. We can get to level 30. Um, there's a chance we might be able to get more because, of course, there is this the Rexies Anniversary Return pack that you get a few of if you're a VIP. And I think maybe there's four of those. So there's a, there's a chance that you might get it to level 40. You might get eight of them. But. Very unlikely. And the weirdest thing is, there's a 5% chance for a Rexy, which I guess makes sense. It's the best prize. But then there's a Brachiosaur in it. Why is there a Brachiosaur in it? <laughs> but it's there. And of course, you've got 16% chance to get a Dilophosaur or a Gallimimus or a Bachycephalosaurus. Those alone added together, you know, that's what? It's 48. It's like almost 50% chance you'll just get a rare. And then you've got a no yeah, basically it's very low. It's very, 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 very low. Um, but I do want to just quickly go in. We're gonna of course hatch Rexy. Uh, because it's almost been a week since I did my eggs. The eggs! Um, let's have a look. Also, I think if I remember correctly, we do have some good trades in here. Yes, we have DNA for a Tapa Jallo. And as we we now have 700,000 DNA. We're not going to make it, though. We're not going to make it. I was hoping I'd be able to see the million just one more time for all time's sake. But no, I don't think I'm going to because you know, we got we got the, the Dilophosaur Gen 2, which is, you know, coming out um, or being unlockable. And then, you know, we, we got other things we need to spend our DNA on. And then we've also got the evil Bacchylites. Although that wasn't the voice I used for Bacchylites. I, I can't remember. I had to use a specific program to make it. Because I, I wanted Bacchylites to sound like, um... What's the Grave Mind from Halo 3, I think it is. Anyway, selling that for 198 bucks. Hell yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's awesome. So, I don't know if that's done three trades for me. I don't think so. Okay, but before we get any further, I am kind of curious. We have one. We've got some mega DNA to get two Rexies. Uh, and then Rexy. Uh-huh. And if we look up here, there is... A th oh, so there's only three! Interesting. Unless I skipped overloads. No, I didn't. Okay. So here we go. Let's open the Rexies Anniversary Return Pack. <laughs> and we get... Oh, well, there was 50% chance we would get that, and it's, it's a Dilophosaurus. Sweet. Even if we complete the rest of the events, uh, yeah, it's not it's not looking too good, really. Uh, our chances of getting another Rexy. We do have the macro uh, SDNA, which is actually quite a lot of super DNA. And at the bottom, we got some other things. I don't know if there's even a single Rexy pack in there for the bottom. No, 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 no. But... You do get another Rexy. So that's good. Do you not get a Rexy at the top? What? So if you pay for premium pass, I think you get Rexy right away. But you're already guaranteed the Rexy pack. And that is literally it. You, I mean, what what is Rex? The Rexy pack has absolutely terrible prime. What is that? 150 DNA and 10 bucks? 
Porexy. Porexy. What? It should be at least 5,000 DNA. Oh, Lord and Jesus. Right, okay, let's go. We got. I put in a Diplodocus just because, why not? I also got something I've never seen before. If you go in here, I have a 24 days to use an extra creation lab slot. I never use this anyway. <laughs> but I'm assuming that's something you get for being VIP. So let's all, you know, that special thing that you buy. Interesting. We can organize by boss. Like boss boss. Interesting. Well, anyway, we want carnival. I wonder how good Rexy is. Because it's not a VIP. It's not a tournament. Lithornax or Lithornax is a tournament. And Rexy... Yeah, okay, so the these dinosaurs are basically glorified um, VIPs, basically. So we'll spend 250, just instant instant hatch, because I'm assuming there she is. It would, and look, a T-Rex animation, and it works. Wow. <laughs> because it is a legit T-Rex. All right, let's feed Rexy. Let's see how she hunts. She doesn't want to eat. She wants to be, no, let's see. She doesn't want to be fed. She wants to hunt. Can't just suppress 65 million years of gut instinct. Although in this case, you can. Right. So we get to level 10, 544 health and 316 attack. So way more in favor of attack than it is health. Is there a website that scales dinosaurs on like how much attack they are to health? Or did I dream that? <laughs> I can't remember that. I feel like I dreamt that. That's weird. Okay, so what do we have? Rexy is the ultimate apex predator. Is it really, though? Is it really? Because ever since Jurassic or the Lost World, Rexy has, has sort of got beaten up by everything. It got beat up by Indominus. It got beat up by the Giga. And the only reason it didn't die to those guys was because it had help. <laughs> so, no. But I feel like Universal were like, you've got to say it. So, never one to back down from a fight, except for that one time. When it, tr it gave up the deer from the Giga and Dominion. Wow, we're two lines in and we're already good. <laughs> okay, Rexy will take on a challenger. Any challenger that comes her way. Except for the Giga when it was the deer and Dominion. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of curious. At 8.4 tons, Rexy is a massive beast. This is the equivalent of 18,518 pounds. Uh, roughly the same weight as a school bus. Rexy's massive jaw can open 80 degrees, giving her a bite you don't want to mess with. She's taken down many rivals with those teeth. I'd love to see. You know that that, that was this shot in um, Camp Cretaceous, although it's not Rexy, where the T-Rex opens his mouth like crazy. You know, you usually have a hinge and the jaw will move from the hinge, but it literally just goes eh, and like moves down like, oh, <laughs> like dislocates. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, after escaping the Lockwood estate, along with many other dinosaurs, Rexy now lives in the protected environment of Biosyn Valley. Interesting. So all Rexy gets is a feigned glow. We may, may as well collect some food. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any way for me to get another one, is there? No, unlocked via special event. Also, they've been very uh, obvious with the, the new tournament that's coming once this Dilophosaur Gen 2 finishes. The Toro tournament, and they're saying it does not unlock Toro. And I've seen this! Someone is commenting. I I'm sorry, I can't remember your name. No, I'm not deliberately saying someone. I actually don't remember. <laughs> but um, they have been wanting me to restart or at least have another account and play Jurassic World the game again from level one. Not to punish me. Well, maybe to punish me, but also just to see what the difference is nowadays because I play this. I started in 2050. So the game has changed massively. So they want me to see what the game actually looks like now, starting at level one. Saying that the, and I, I mean, I already know this. I already know that Ludia have locked out certain dinosaurs that you can't get. And pretty much everything that is in the amber market, you can't unlock. The battle stage infinite used to be, you could go through and unlock every dinosaur. Now you can't do that. Now some dinosaurs, strangely enough, including Tijongosaurus, uh, you need amber. And the only way to get amber is to do boss battles, which means that you're pretty much locked out of these until the end game. 
if I was to start playing now, now I don't know how else you can, because I don't really see it. Um, I, it would probably take me like two years, I think, or maybe even more. I probably wouldn't even, to get up to where I am now, if I started the game, I don't think I could. I think it's, it would probably be impossible because certain dinosaurs are just so hard to get. And this isn't unlocking them. You still need eight of these dinosaurs. So you need to spend, you know, 55,500 amber times by eight to unlock a level 40 uh, Dimetrodon. And then you can then do the fusion. And the thing is, Scapa Ganathus, I'm pretty sure has a hybrid. Dimetrodon has a hybrid. Um... Sarko, I think Sukumimus might. Okay, it should. It would be really good if it did tell you which ones do. I mean, the way I saw this was that, you know, they gave me 180 or 100 not thousand uh, amber DNA. Because I have never won any of this. Um, but I, like I said, the only way to get it is to go into boss events. And in here, you're, let's say we go into here, you've got a really high chance of getting amber. Actually, maybe. Maybe the PvP is also a way to get Amber. Is it a way to get Amber? No, it's not. You, you can't even get Amber in the PvP. That is interesting. Right. But we have a final showdown as well. Event. We've got the world. Here we go. This is always good. This is always great uh, when they put in the bosses just to get thousands of DNA. Now, remember, we've got 7,000, 7 and 4,000 DNA. We'll challenge this. Um, I was kind of tempted to put Rexy in here just to see Rexy versus the Omega. Uh, let's see. We're putting carnivores. We're going to scroll down a fair way in order to get that level 10. It's got to be higher than Beta. Beta, Blue, Panther. They need another, uh, like, celebrity dinosaurs. I can't believe I'm saying that. They're in the game now. Took them years to put them in after me saying, you should put celebrity dinosaurs in. I wonder if I had any say in that. Like, uh, he's got a he's got a point, this guy. Okay, so we'll put Rexy in. Uh, then we'll put Panther. Ooh, Blue. It's kind of interesting, right? Because Rexy and Blue are characters; they're not dinosaurs. So what about Indominus? Right? Like, we have Indominus Rex, but is it the Indominus from Jurassic World, or is it just Indominus Rex? Like. Rexy was a T-Rex. I don't think so, right? That's where it gets a bit muddled. But it'd be cool if they did, because the Indominus Rex that's in this game doesn't really look like the one from the movie. So, just putting it out there, Ludia, would be an interesting thing to do, but, you know, I'd like to say add it differently, but I know you won't. <laughs> All right, so we'll put Rexy, Blue, and Beta versing Omega. Now, I'm not expecting to do very well here, We'll see. There we go. Rexy versus the Omega. And Rexy could die in two hits. Oh, Lord. But that's the way it goes. The only way, really, to get a level 20 of this... Uh, well, you couldn't. Unless you paid for the pass. Um, hmm. I'm going to put one block in, one reserve, just in case. Oh, we're dead. Oh, wait, that Rexy did nothing. <laughs> there it is. Rexy, no. Oh, well, here's blue. Oh, and it's gone. That is back. <laughs> we'll just go for four reserves. Well, we got to see it there. Didn't do any more. Probably should have. Probably should have saved it now. Think about it. And blue goes down as well. It's now up to beta. Can beta kill it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then three block? Maybe I might. Oh, I didn't even kill it. Uh-oh. 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 Well, well, we'll make sure just to get it to level two. We'll get level two. Not only do you, you know, you get loads of DNA for defeating um, this thing, because you've got all the missions and, and whatnot, but I think you get a decent amount of super DNA as well. Now, we have completed this event in the past. Um, because I was... Oh, oh no! Beta is okay! <laughs> the only dinosaur you cannot kill in this game. They don't really die. They just fall over and they, they breathe on the ground for a second. But the only one you can't knock out is Beta. So there you go. A hundred 
DNA, followed by two. So that's 300 DNA for one entry. Not bad. Um, so I will go in here. Yeah, I'm going to use my speed ups because I never use them. Where are we? Where's Rexy? It's 34 bucks. I will use an instant recovery. I don't really use instant recovery, so I may as well. Um, but this time, what I'll do, because I want I want to see that animation. I do want to see that animation. We'll put in... I just want to do an 8. I want to do something that can definitely survive. Oh, Copy can survive. Copy is amazing, actually. Would really be able to... Oh. Oh. I'm trying to think of the best way to get the most amount of damage, but on a, it's it's the best dinosaurs you can put in, really, is the only way. So we'll put in Compi first, then we'll put in Rexy. And I'll start that. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just want that. I. It has to be over a certain amount, right? That it'll do a full amount of damage. And I can't remember what it is. Is it double the amount of damage or, as health or what? No, okay, there you go. One killed! And of course, we're, if you're in a full team of level 10 compies, you could be a right pain in the ass. Because when you swap in, there's a chance of you regaining um, a compie. So you could have an, a battle that basically never ends. In, hypothetical, in a hypothetical situation, you could have three compies and you're just constantly switching them. Reserve, switch, reserve. Because they don't get hurt with anymore. Like, if I switch Rexy now... Would be, I, well, I don't know. But I, I just kind of want to make this thing die. <laughs> it, it was literally just here to be a buffer so I could get an 8 animation out of Rexy. Okay, okay. If I can, uh, there's probably no chance of me doing 3,000 damages there. Unless I did a full-on 8 attack, which I don't want to do. So, I'm sorry, copy, I kind of wasted you. Okay, it's got one block. We, we should definitely do 3,000 damage. Right, come on, Rexy. There we go. Let's see Rexy's eight animation. Right, two, three. What's the maximum amount of damage a level 10 Rexy can do? 6,320. Okay, okay. Here it is. Ah, gorgeous. Yum. Oh, look at the model. Yes, in comparison to what a T-Rex looks like in the game. Because T-Rex is, you know, it's a dinosaur from the very beginning and has never had a model update. And now to see, you know, a Rexy. I'm assuming this might even be the same model imported and tweaked slightly um, from Jurassic World Alive. But that's really cool. Finally. Finally. Because back when I mentioned about bringing in celebrity dinosaurs, I said about bringing in the book and the doe T-Rex from the Lost World. That'd be a really cool idea. So that's another 300. Uh, didn't quite get there, but let's do the best we can do now. So we basically want an amphibian team... Uh, Gorgosuchus really gives us the... Now, the problem is, you want health. That's what you want. Because its attack increases. But Omega 09's health doesn't. So, I think... Well, it does, but it doesn't increase as much as the attack increases. So, right now, we can go for one and kill it instantly. And I'll put the speed up now, because we're just seeing how quickly we can defeat this thing. That's right. Get up if you can. Oh, dearie be bones. So 3,000 through, now 3,500. Oh, no, maybe it just gradually goes. I re this thing's changed so much since it was first put in the game. It used to be a case of the attack would literally double each time you defeated it. Its health might have as well? I don't know, maybe it did a start with everything doubled, then just the attack doubled. Hard to say. Hard to say. But there is an algorithm to this, because after a certain period of time, it always goes for the same thing. Oh, wow. Okay, a decent amount of damage. Okay, I think I might have had one block. So I'll go for three. But it goes for, like, two block, and then three attack. Two block, three attack. Two block, three attack. Or something like that seems to happen. I've, I've definitely caught it on multiple occasions when it's done that. Right. Can we, I want to get level 10. I think level 10 is when you get the super DNA. Also, if we just do loads of damage, we'll just get lots of, uh... What do you call it? Lots of um, DNA from that. Yep, two, exactly. <laughs> Could have severe brain damage. <laughs> What's it called when you, uh, you you get in a car crash or something, you have a... Oh, what is it? Oh, damn. 
There'll be people saying at the screen, concussion! That's it. Love lots of concussions. Okay, so one, two, factor in two. I think it went for an all out there, so I'm not too fast. Boom, again on the floor. Everyone walked their dinosaur. <laughs> Some jokes are too easy. I, I just can't help it. So four, doesn't go for anything. Get on the floor. Oh, what the dinosaur. Again, we're doing it again. Because why? Not? It's easy, that's why. <laughs> right, okay. Level eight. The level eight, what can you do? You've got six. That's good. That's good. Oh, it likes to go for five. It definitely killed me. Oh, it didn't. Okay. So it's got one block. One, two. Factor in one. And then three reserve. Because why not? <laughs> level nine. I think it gets a bit crazy, though, with the DNA rewards. With how much damage you do. It goes from do 100 damage, do 3, do 1,000 damage, do 3,000 damage. And then it goes to, like, 10,000. And then 20,000, then 50,000, then 100,000. And when, you know, each level is only 5,000 health, there isn't much you can do... Even though I did 8,000 damage there, I don't think that counts as 8,000 damage. It's not like in Jurassic World Alive where, you know, with the, the ability to devour, you know, you gain a percentage of how much damage you've done. Unless it's killed it. And then it counts all the extra damage as well. Um, but I don't think this one does. So, one, two, <gasps> three! Three! Oh, perfect! Up here! <laughs> Weird hammerhead amphibian! And Philippian. Yes. The, what's it called? An Orthoserapsis. Orthoserapsis. An Orthoserapsis. Yes. I think it's going to have two blocks. Oh, it did again. Whoop -ah! <laughs> Can we get to level 15? Is it doable? Maybe. Although that's. Oh. Oh, okay. You know what it is? I'm going to go for that. Because I know you're going to have eight. And you want to attack me for that eight. But I reduce it down to four. Or maybe you'll just go for five. Oh, it's a full on eight. Whoa, 4,000 damage. Now, if I hadn't had saved for that, um, I would have been killed there. Would have been killed. Come on, I got to get 15. That's my goal. Get a 15. <laughs> it's an accurate noise. They should have cast me as a dinosaur in Jurassic World Dominion. It would have been beautiful. Right, one, two, three. Factor it. I'm going to factor it two this time. Oh, baby. There you go. <laughs> I think we've still got one more after this, so we should be good. Interested to see how much DNA we get out of this. Okay, so six, three, four, five. It'll go for five because five will kill me. I'll have one block. Uh, no. Office. Coolasukish. Still being a, a pretty decent amphibian hybrid. Oh, Coolosaurus, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Uh, one, two, three. Factor in the one. Baby. Me oh, it didn't even go for it. Wow. Okay, so whew, we might be dead. So it takes us to level 15. And there's the five. I think four could kill me. Possibly three. <gasps> oh. That's it. We'll just go all out then. We'll just go all out. Let's see the animation of Coolosaurus. Oh, no, that's not the one. There it is. <laughs> Coolosaurus. <laughs> right, well, it's de we've definitely lost now. Up to level 60 now. 5,000 health, and now it's on... S yeah, maybe it does start to get better. You just need to really get up there with the attacks. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Because if you think about it, if you're, all you're after is DNA in this game, you get way more for doing this event than you would in a, in a regular pack. Like, where do you win 450 DNA? You don't. 750. And then 25,000. 10. Is it 1,000? No, it's, it is 1,000 then. 1,500 DNA. And then, yeah, now do 100,000 damage. <laughs> for just... 2,000 DNA. But still, it's thousands upon thousands of DNA. Um, it's interesting that it gives you a certain amount of missions to get up to. And why it's 89, I have no idea. Um, because I... It's not like there's a set amount for each one. 
because I've I've completed it and it still had multiple. Like you could still do the deal the damage or something, but I was just trying to knock them out as quickly as possible. So here we go. Fight it once, reach level 10, reach level 7, and complete 10 raid events. So in total, you know what? It's almost 100. It's a pretty decent amount. It's probably about 50 uh, super DNA. So we can't get another Rexy. Always best to put in... I think what I've actually done is I've gotten Rexy Gen 2 ready for the hybrid. What I haven't done actually is fused any so we have tyrannosaurus rex we have tyrannosaurus rex gen 2 and we have rexy we have three t-rexes in this game i thought that was reserved just for what is it dress all live because you got tyrannometodon rexy t-rex t-rex gen 2 oh Interesting. I wonder what the first dinosaur is. You can literally make a full team of just that. I mean, this this game, pretty much. You can make Rexy, uh, T-Rex, and T-Rex Gen 2 as a team. But then we also had Brawlosaurs. But the thing is, I can't put the Brawlosaurs in this game anymore because they took out the feature. Because Hasbro, uh, the license ran out. Like, the, the toy license. So they, I could no longer just have... A Brawlosaurus. It's such a shame that that shouldn't, that shouldn't be the case. You can't just render a part of a toy inactive because, uh, I don't know, licenses. It's so... Uh, they should really just put in a system. Like, what? what's the worst that's going to happen? You think Hasbro is going to come at you and be like, Hey, you should, you're still allowing the scan of, of this feature of a toy that's almost 10 years old now. Don't stop. Stop that. <laughs> Come on. Just sneakily put it in. Be like, Oops. Didn't, we didn't know. Plead ignorance. Just say we. it was an oversight. Ludia. Ludia. Send it to me. Okay. I promise. I promise I won't say it was you. Okay. But I really would like to use my brawler sauce again. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Right. So we've got eight of them up to level 10. Uh, we can do instant fuses, uh, which we may, I may as well. 120. Oh, look at that. Some extra. Off. Brilliant. So instead of 140, it's, it's costing 120. Okay. Let's do this. It's all about T-Rexes today. If you're a fanboy of Rexy or T-Rex in general, this is your kind of episode. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh. I didn't even check the skin out for a level uh, 11 to 20. That looks quite nice. I can't remember what a level 40 T-Rex uh, looks like, Gen 2. Because I've never had one. Oh, that would make sense there, Jim. Just a, just a little bit. <laughs> right. Uh, what's this one? 400... 490... Okay. We got this. We got this. This is 19,000 experience, which I don't need. 10 super raptor DNA. 490. Come on. Concentration. Concentration. Spined. What's this guy called? I can't remember. Anyway. Okay, it's, it's not the hardest. Okay, good so far. 20. Ooh, that's how you know it's good. Usually it's 15 or 10. All right, so one, two. This is going to end with a double touchy at the bottom. I know. Oh, 40. Okay, okay. Easy. Don't glitch out with me, you bugger you. Sometimes I'll click it and it'll be like, no, straight away. Good. 60. Right, is this... It'll be clicky now. No? Oh, God. One, two, three. Now it's click. It's going to be a full thing of clickies and then end with one clicky. No? Okay, it's going to end with one clicky. So 400 night we could get with this. Yes! 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 <laughs> So 490 changed to 680 from a containment. Oh, we could buy like six triceratopses with that. Damn. Oh, that was good. Um, I would collect all of my rewards, but I can't really be bothered. The thing is, I do the daily things and I need packs. Because you can get a free pack and then you can do the watch an advert to get another. Oh, also, if I wanted to, I could spend 12,000 books for 12,000 VIP points, 12,000 DNA, and one Barry Honey, <laughs> which to me, I don't know about you, 
Doesn't seem worth it, so I'm not gonna. But you, so what you do is you get a free, free mystery pack and then get the free one for an advert. So you knock out the advert mission. And then it's like, okay, you might get lucky with the mods getting a pack, but uh, yeah, otherwise I usually just go into the VIP, go into here and open up a 2000 zip line. Because otherwise, I don't want to open up anything else. So I will save that until it unlocks. And what I'll do is when I go, because you can get all the daily missions within one session. Oh, look, Rexy, a Rexy visitor center. What? Oh, that's cool. I keep forgetting they, they do put in decorations. That is still a part of this game. <laughs> I don't know if anybody does it though. That's really cool. Maybe we should focus on the decorations at one point. I wonder if on decorations, if there are any limited ones, if it shows them. No, structures. Yeah, all structures locked. So it doesn't even show you any locked structures or not owned. Okay, so these are all the ones that aren't owned, but they're all the ones you can buy with coin though. There are no limited ones, um, which is interesting because if I got that Rexy Visitor Center, sold it, I wouldn't find it in that market ever again because all of my decorations are in Isla Sauna, as they should be. All of the, all, look at this, all of the trophies, all of the, I've been here forever. <laughs> i got all of these. We've been through four Easters, four Easters of the Dodo. We've had the um, Alpha 06. I don't know if I have any more of those. Eight years, eight years, long years of that one. Then this was the Incubator Egg statue. We've got the Land and Sea Park. You, we could probably make an interesting looking park. The only problem is even in Jurassic... Actually, I couldn't find this game when I first logged in because I... I thought it was Jurassic Park Builder logo, but because they changed it to red recently. But even in Jurassic Park Builder, when you had a path, you had cars going about. So it would be really nice if in paths you had people walk. Just to try and simulate something, you know. But really, when I mean, when it comes to coin, as you can see, I just click that once and up to 999. And that's what I need, really, at the end of the day, because if I fill up my coin, I might get a mission that's 45 million coin trade for 3,000 DNA, which I'll do in a heartbeat. But then, you know, I need the coin back to get another mission like that. So as much as I want to actually focus on making a park and go, you know what? Yeah, let's see this. I am not putting this all back in my inventory space. Because if I do that, I my missions will no longer be a Brachiosaur, or sorry, a patasaur skeleton for trade for books or something, or DNA, it'll be a fountain, which will give me a lot less. And fountains gives you 10%. It's it's just the best thing. I mean, yeah, Hammond has, I think, two extra or double the tile uh, thingy, but I feel as though, yeah, this is the, that's the best way to do it. Two rows of fountains and then a row of John Hammond, just a clip. So the most my dinosaurs have is that spot right there where they get 366% extra coin, which gives it 344,000 coin in an hour. And in six hours, whoa, 60 million coin. That's just from one dinosaur, 16 million. And then 48 million, I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, one, two. Oh no, it's four million, is it? One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, no, it's a million and a million. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say 16 million actually is quite a bit. <laughs> Maybe we just need that, but no, we do need more. Uh, we refuse to the legend. Also, I, I try to keep up with this. It's just a bit boring because <laughs> I don't use that DNA for anything. Hey, look at that. Oh yeah, sorry. We were making Rexygen 2 before I got distracted by that mission, but we'll just quickly pet the Tyranodons. There you go. And then we'll head to Isla Sauna where I think... Actually, no, we'll go back to Nublar. Where's T-Rex Gen 2? Because I need to pet you. There you go. So there we- Oh, we also haven't got rewards. First Rex, Rex Gen 2 is a master at internal feed. Oh, in inertial feeding? Inertial? When has anyone used the term as inertial feeding? Is a master at inertial- Hold on. Let me- Inertial feeding. Inertial feeding is a stereotypic form of prey transport which is utilized in order to transport 
procured food items from the jaw tips into and through the oral cavity. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Damn it, Lydia. Th there probably is a French support for this this game, but <laughs> because it's based in Montreal and they're all like they all have to learn French and stuff. And maybe the person who writes these, if their first language is French, but then when it comes to translating, no one writes inertial. You 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 put your French words in there and it just came out as inertia. You went, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> I've never... Okay, in future, if anyone ever asks you about facts about dinosaurs, you should say, did you know that T-Rex is a expert in an inertial feeding techniques? That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> People will be like, whoa, really? What does that mean? Oh, it means that it's, it's uh, an expert at getting things from A to B. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, we, can, we gotta get on this. Right, okay. So we have, we'll get you to level 20, then level 20, another level 20, and another level 20. Glorious. Okay, so we'll evolve. Oh god, no. <laughs> it's another code 19. Ah, it's only 90, sod it. Uh, you bugger you. Where did you put? You moved me. Where am I? Oh, 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 where'd it go? Uh, is it up here? Where did T-Rex Gen 2 go? Damn it. That, we're, we're level 54 for Omega, actually. That's pretty decent. Okay. Right, next one. We've got a level 30. The Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2 prefers hunting in rocky desert terrains. Don't. You'll be awful. No, I'm not doing 30. Oh, he's at the top left of Nubla. Okay. Right, so let's evolve you. Instant fuse. You really want to save at least the last one because that's like level 40 fusion is what you want these for. So we'll get to level 30. What do you look like at level 30? Eh, your brightness has been turned up a little bit. That's pretty much it. Maybe your contrast. Not much of a difference. Maybe your toenails are painted a little bit different. And finally, the fusion to make the level 40 T-Rex Gen 2, which basically is just a recoloring of a regular T-Rex at level 40. So let's feed you at level 40. What do you have? 1,915 health and 599 attack, which if I remember correctly, isn't too much higher than a regular T-Rex. <laughs> Because doesn't T-Rex have like 500 attack? Wow. Well, we need to collect this anyway. 300 and some bugs. A Tyrannosaurus Rex Gen 2 has never been observed to have a broken tooth. This is thanks to their abnormal dense enamel. Not the root. Okay. I was going to say, is it because of their um, inertial feeding techniques? Because, I mean, I'm an expert on the subject. I think it's due to their inertial feeding technique. <laughs> Inertial. <laughs> it is inertial, right? Makes it fun. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's, it's this one. Iner inertial. Inertial. That is that's some sciencey term there. <laughs> hey, there we go. Pet eighteen or pet ten? Sorry. Yeah, I probably could have thousands of boss DNA, but I just I never find a reason to use it. Uh, what I do want to do actually is. I want to do a PvP here. I want to do... I want to do... Cenozoic versus land. And I want to do these guys. And then we'll change the carnivores. Because I want to see Rexy on the helipad. That's what I want to see. We're here to see Rexy. Oh, it's a double Toro. Dude, I could get level 30 Toro if I complete the event. Heck yeah. Uh, 26, hell yeah. Let's go. Okay, please don't have any Cenozoics in there. There's definitely a chance of them having Cenozoics. If they do, we're going to Cenozoic Arena, which is rubbish in comparison. Ah, oh, thank- Ah, oh, goddamn! Why so many crocs? Okay, there, look at this! Look at Rexy! Ah, oh, it's gorgeous! Okay, Rexy dies in like two hits. This not good. Not good at all. That's not fair. You still the same tactic as I have. I don't like that. You know what? I'm going to put Bonitosaurus out there. 
And I'm gonna go for one reason. <laughs> so we'll go for two. Yeah, look at that. Big brain. Big brain plays here. That's how we do it. But look how much nicer this is. This arena is so good. Ow. <laughs> Pull the headphones. I just wish that they would do more. Have more data. Have, go to Isla Nublar. Sorry, Isla Sauna. We've got that now. Like, have the RV in the background. Have the train. Just put some effort in. Please. It'd be so good. I want to see more environments. It's been so long since we've had something different in Jurassic World the game. I mean, you you do the decorations, I guess because it's less effort, because it's literally just a 2D model. Um, I assume. That's why you do the decorations. You put in new dinosaurs because you know they drive sails with packs and stuff. Do arenas! Like, if you want more activity in your game, build some life into it. It would be great. Because I see the same freaking visitor set. Like that, that's how you know that a game is like, it's driven by its stockholders, right? Because they look at certain things that make money. But they don't play the game. They're not, they don't live it. Like I do. I live here. <laughs> Molded by it. Molded by it. Whereas, you know, when I, I remember when Hungry Dragon first came out and I was invited to um, their offices, it was me and a couple of other uh, YouTubers or, you know, influencers. And basically, I was the only one that had played the game. <laughs> I think I think two of them had played it on the plane over. So whether, you know, I, you know, I, good luck finding people that are able to fly to the studios and play the game loads at, you know what I mean. Anyway, but it was, I was just kind of surprised that no one else had played the game. <laughs> I mean, you know, because you, you go to these studios, you go to these places, you're going to meet the development team and development team are going to ask you, what do you think of it? What What's your favorite place? Where, you know, what's your favorite item? What's your favorite dragon? What's your favorite dragon? Sort of thing like that. I feel like I was the only one going, yeah, this, <laughs> I like this. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, you know, and fair enough, maybe they, you know, they don't cover stuff like that, so. It just wasn't their, their sort of bag. But they're not going to turn down an offer <laughs> to get a free flight to a far-flung place. Also, what is going on with this Prion Sutures? I wanted to go for more than four to kill me, but it's determined to go for four block every time. <laughs> it's paranoid. It knows. It knows. Just do something. Come on. Do something. You know you want to. Oh, finally! Get in. Right, so I can switch into Rexy. We can go for an attack now. And we can go for enough block to survive whatever the Metri can do. Metrorancus. Okay, so one, two, three, four kills it. Uh, go for two block, one reserve. Ah, oh, just, you know, getting to see a different angle of Rexy close up. That's what we want to see. We want to get right up there. Get her right in the grill. Let's see those, uh... Let's see those inertial feeding techniques. Up close. I want to see the inertial feeder. <laughs> oh, I thought it might. Oh, how close am I? Good God. Okay, okay. That actually puts me in... Oh, no. I, I was going to say, I'm a bit worried now when it comes to Alanqua. Because maybe that could kill me if it goes for eight. And I think I might be able to. Okay, one block. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Right, 94. I kill it in two. I have to go for three. So one, two, kills it. Factor in the one. One, two, three. Now, worst case scenario, he, go he has five and he goes for five. It hits me with two, which is going to do 30, maybe 45 damage. So I think that's the best. Yeah, I think we're good, right? <gasps> okay, we're good. Yes. Also, aren't we glad that Rexy looks like Rexy? Remember when Fallen Kingdom made Rexy look eh, decrepit? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense from the lore perspective, but at the same time, you don't have to do Rexy like that. Ow! How dare you? Right, I'm going to go for one, two, three, and then one, two, three. I want to do the full-on attack animation. Or seven. 
And I, I think we're gonna, well, we will survive. Uh, oh, you got the four again? How dare you? This is Rexy, the queen of Jurassic. All right, seven attack animations. Rawr. Let's see it. Yum. See, it looks, it looks gorgeous there. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Gorgeous, yes. The dark sockety eyes. And that was only an intermediate prize. So probably only going to get coin. Oh, some food. You know what? Could be worse. Could be worse. I'm not going to spin again. You kidding me now? I do have, and I have had for ages. Oh, it's a Jurassic Park tour. What do we get from this? T-Rex. We could get 300 bucks, but it costs us 500 bucks to participate. And also the final T-Rex showdown, which gives us... Well, I know what we're doing. Okay, we're definitely doing this one. So amphibians. That'll do. Yeah, there you go. Just straight away. Kill, kill, kill. Done. Done. One master on his horse. Hutter! And this is the arena you see all the time in the game. I mean, you don't need me. You don't need to hear me harp on about it. I go on about it every freaking episode. Visitor center for every event. Guess what? Boring. <laughs> ah, raptor kill. And look. It's Raptor Gen 2. Will it die? That is the question. Oh, yes. Yes, it will. Right. One, two, three. Right. Okay, that's one out of three battles done. Now, will the other ones be just as easy? And of course, I think we do get DNA. Eh, 30. Right, next one. Oh. Really? Is the reason why... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm looking at the health on these and the attack. They are getting super hard. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to go for Melemelemelemo first. Because it's going to go for two and kill me. That gives me... Do we kill it? 900? I think we do kill it in one hit. Yes. Okay, but we don't kill the next one in one hit. So I'm going to go for one block just in case. Because I'm a bit worried about the attack. Yeah, 900! I'm right to worry. It wouldn't kill me, though. Whoa! 1,600! Well, I'm glad you... Wait, I'm not glad. That guy's... That guy's very scary. Very, very scary. What are you supposed to... Are you supposed to... Like, I get the Rexy event. It's, you know, in the Visitor Center taking on raptors. But at the same time... These are freaking insane. There's no T-Rex that could take these on. Indominus Rex can't even take this on at level 40. One, two, three. Kills it. Factor in two. And then two reserve. Oh, he goes for three. You buggy him. Damn. That's killed me. That's killed me. Gonna go for four. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, it's not so bad. One, two kills it. Factor in two. And then two. Okay. And then we just go for six. We just go for six and hopefully kill it. We kill it in two anyway. Oh, no, we would. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing you can do. Ah, and it goes for that anyway. Woo. The Diplo Suchis. Thank you. Easy killed. Bam. 25,000 damage. <laughs> I love when you speed it up. Sometimes the animations don't make any noise. Like, die in silence. That's how we do it. And oh, my God. A level 347 Rexy. Woo. Well, obviously, we start with that. That's a given. I think we do that. Um, or even actually, no. I think in this case, it's probably best we just do this. Um, 12,000 health. I mean, you don't can kill it in three hits. Ah, Indoraptor. Let's go for the Indoraptor just to wrap this. Oh, so that's what Rexy looks like at level 40. Ooh. You know, with the aura spark that it has, you can kind of see it in the visitor center. Is that why? Is that why, Ludia, you decide we're not gonna we're gonna change the arena? It's gonna give lights to the dinosaurs. <laughs> no, not to attack! How dare you! Alright, and then we go for three on you. What's the what's the worst you can do? Kill me with one, go for one block. That's right, that's what I thought. We go four reserves, two block. Oh, you best be worried of Guanlong now. If I do eight attack, 
I might do 200 damage. <laughs> Actually, I probably should have went for four reserve and four attack. Just to provoke it into attacking. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Okay. You know what, Guan Long? You survive. You survive, Guan Long. It's Interruptor's turn to finish this. Go on. We'll slow it down. So it's seven attack. I do 81,000. A little bit more than 12. Just, just a little bit. Ooh, um. No, Rexy. Defeated by an Interruptor. Only level 40. Go on then. Give me me Jurassic Park gates and 150 bucks. Thank you very much as well as my VAP points. And not only that, I should also have <laughs> 12 of those, please. And nothing to do with that. Well, anyway, guys, that is going to have to wrap up this event and this video. Uh, we got Rexy. I will hopefully unlock the Lost Soul Gen 2 tonight. Um, and then it should be a while until we get to Rano Metro. I do not want to waste bucks on it, so I'm not going to bother speeding it up because it's not a new hybrid and it's a carnivore. So I'll make a video when we get it or unless something else pops up. Maybe, I mean, we're going to get the Toro anyway. Like, we're going to get that to level 30 over this weekend. So I'll see you in another video. If you're trying to leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye <laughs>